So Harvey Weinstein, apparently now there's been more of the, the New Yorker story, which I have not read. I read the New York Times story where uh, a bunch of uh, former actors and current actors um, accused Weinstein of basically the same stuff that he had been accused of in the initial New York Times piece. His wife has left him. There, and the New Yorker piece that uh, Ronan Farrow wrote apparently uh, included charges of sexual assault and rape. Here is Ronan Farrow on on Maddow last night, and um, he. He basically apparently had this story for NBC, I don't know, about six months ago or so. And listen to his response. He obviously is being a little bit careful with his words here, but listen to his response as to whether or not he found the NBC reaction to his piece that it was not ready to be legit. So, Ronan, you just said that one of these women spoke on camera back in January. You... Why did you end up reporting this story for The New Yorker and not for NBC News? Look, you would have to ask NBC and NBC executives about the details of that story. I'm not going to comment on any news organization's story that they, um, you know, did or didn't run. Uh, I will say that over many years, many news organizations have circled this story and faced a great deal of pressure in doing so. Hmm. And there are now reports emerging publicly about the kinds of pressure that news organizations face in this. Mm -hmm. um, and that is real. In, in the course of this reporting, I was threatened with a lawsuit personally by Mr. Weinstein. And, um, you know, we've already seen that the Times has been publicly threatened with a suit. I don't want to describe uh, any suits leveled at other organizations that I work with. but. Uh, you know, certainly and this is a, a considerable amount of pressure that outlets get us. And well. NBC says that, you know, you didn't, that the, the story wasn't publishable, that it wasn't ready to go by the time that you brought it to them. But obviously it's ready to go by the time you got it into The New Yorker. Uh, I walked into the door at The New Yorker with a, uh, an explosively reportable piece that should have been public earlier. And uh, immediately, obviously, The New Yorker recognized that. And it is not accurate to say that it was not reportable. In fact, there were multiple determinations that it was reportable at NBC. There you go. Uh, good thing we're never going to have a problem with, threat with lawsuits threatening uh, news organizations uh, in any way. I, I meant to uh, bring that up in the interview with McKay, the idea of mm, those billionaires, they want to sue uh, an entity out of existence. I don't think there's anything. I think the only thing that's inhibiting them from doing it right now, literally all of them, is that there are other billionaires that own them. <laughs> and... Um, They just don't want it to be awkward at the country club or Davos. I don't know. Exactly. Nobody gave a shit when it happened to Gawker because, like, everybody hates Gawker, but it was never going to stop with that. No, of course not. Of course not. And I don't know that nobody gave a shit. I mean, but, but most people did not. That's true. Established media, Established media did not care. No, because they thought that they were outside of that reach. We'll see about that. <laughs> Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos. <laughs>